Title, Boom. Rangers spores bench with bad biceps. King called up from the minors. How will the game change? TL, DR, in a plot twist for the Texas Rangers, right-hander Josh Spores is sidelined with a gnarly case of biceps tendonitis, granting left-hander John King a recall from AAA. While Spores chills and recovers, King gets his shot at redemption. But wait, there's more. A role this Chapman has been straight fire since his transfer, but will this balance out the Spores-shaped hole in the Rangers lineup? Long-form news article. Baseball fans, let's talk shop. The Texas Rangers pulled a fast one on us when they slapped Josh Thors, their right-handed pitcher, on the 15-day injured list. The guy's got right biceps tendonitis and it's throwing off his game, literally. But hey, isn't the beauty of baseball all about curveballs, on and off the field? So, what's next for Spores, and more importantly, what does this mean for the Rangers? Good news, he can swing back into the game on July 27th. But the twist? His performance has been... Well, let's call it interesting. In July's first third, Spores clocked in nine earned runs in 4.1 innings. Not exactly Hall of Fame stuff. Yet, we can't forget the Spores of June, a titan among late inning relievers with a stellar 0.55 ERA. Can that Spores make a comeback? Time will tell, or as Rangers manager Bruce Boshi puts it, it looks like he's going to need 15 days just to calm down. Can a chill pill really be the antidote to Spores's? Not so hot streak. Now let's shift our gaze to lefty John King, freshly recalled from AAA Round Rock. Is this his Cinderella moment? King, despite his royal name, has had a less than regal 5.79 ERA in his 18.2 innings this season with the Rangers. But hey, it's baseball, where fairy tales are possible. So, could this be his opportunity to reverse that curse? The suspense doesn't end there. The Rangers' bullpen welcomed Aroldis Chapman, seven-time All-Star who came over from the Kansas City Royals. And guess what? Dude's been smashing it. Four scoreless, one-hit innings and five strikeouts since June 30th. That's some heavyweight stuff, right? He's thrown as well as I've ever seen, raved Boshi. So, what are we left with, folks? A field full of question marks. With spores out for a breather, King stepping up to the mound, and Chapman showing some serious promise, the Rangers game just got a lot more unpredictable. But isn't that why we love baseball? Disclaimer, remember, this is an opinion piece based on the facts at hand and is not investment or betting advice. Enjoy the game. So, fans, we leave you with this, in this roller coaster of player changes, can the Rangers find a rhythm that works? And will King use his moment under the spotlight to show his true baseball colors? What about Spores, when he's back in the game, will he be the Spores of June or July? Let's get the discussion rolling, shall we?